Hey everybody, it's The Walker. So what are we doing today? Today we're going to do a review of the EC EEN 7 watt solar panel charger. I did a review of their excellent 10 watt solar panel charger, but I wanted something even more lightweight than this already very, very lightweight option and something that would very easily be able to um, attach to my uh, bug out bags, hiking bags, and I'm never coming home bags. So let's take a closer look at what you get. Here is the uh, solar panel charger. It's just a simple panel. One panel, seven watts, high efficiency design. I have these panels on a, uh, another, another charger. They're pretty good. This is a very small monster power bank. Very thin. This did not come with it. I added it to it so I can charge the power bank first. My preference is always to charge a power bank whenever possible. It has one port. So I plug it right into one port. Plug the power bank in and I can charge it. Put it back, zip it up. Even though this pocket is vented, which is a nice feature, having this venting, I would not um, put a cell phone back here. You know, the power bank, yes. You know, it gets hot. Power bank, I don't care as much about, but I wouldn't put a cell phone there. So that's just one thing I do, but it doesn't come with it. They also sell a model that comes with an integral 2000 milliamp hour power bank that's built in. So, always consider charging a power bank first. Comes with um, four pretty good carabiners. There's four grommets, which have their obvious use. And they allow easy, really easy attachment to pack webbing. Pretty darn snug. There's also um, uh, little suction cups, which I think go on the grommets, and then you can stick it in a window or something like that. Um, I only got three. There's four grommets, so I'm missing one. I don't use them anyways. I think what we'll do, let's go right on to, um, there's not a lot, there's not a lot to really, um, you know, go into here. It's just a, it's the same uh, solar controller as we've seen with the um, first, uh, when I, I reviewed the 10 watt, same little flap, you know, which protects the, which protects it, which I rarely actually go through the trouble of clothes, but that would, I guess, help protect against water and dust. And no lights, no nothing, just a little uh, controller. So very simple, again, just like the, just like the 10 watt model. You know what I think we'll do? Let's just go test the, let's test our uh, phone and we'll see what kind of charge you get for one hour. Let's see what we get before we start. Um, 5.6 volts, no amps because we're not pulling a load. So that's what we have um, with the panel. Let's see what we'll put on the cell phone. Plug that in. Cell phones there, and we are getting, um, that's not bad. Let's make a shield from light so you can see. Uh, 0.86 of an amp by 4.73 volts. That's not bad. I'm just kind of haphazardly throwing the ground here. All right. So that's pretty good. Remember, it's also, um, Gosh, going on to 2.30 past that. So it's not prime sun. What time is it? Yep, 2.30. Tell you what, let's um put this on the pack. See what we get for an hour's charge. Putting the pack on the ground, we're gonna direct the panel towards the sun the best we can, and we'll charge the uh, cell phone behind the pack. 
where it'll be a little bit shaded. We don't want it to cook out in the sun. Kind of like a scenario where somebody might be, um, you know, maybe trying to fish, checking traps or whatever. Maybe you're just hiking and you want to cook something. You put the pack down, you direct it towards the sun, you plug in your phone. And I think that will be a good enough angle. It's roughly uh, 243. Start. We're, we're uh, timing it down. We're charging. It looks like about 55% right now. Hooked up to the pack right there. Solar panels on the pack. We'll be back in one hour. Stop. All right, so we're at uh, roughly one hour. What do we have? Mm, looks like 80, um, 83%. That's not so bad. Um, considering it's just strapped to the back of a backpack. <laughs> you know, 84% now. So yeah, let's give it another minute here. Maybe we'll get our um, our 85%. We'll start it up again real quick. Or right, start it back up real fast. There we are, 85%. We'll stop it right here. Stop. So at one minute, 14 seconds. Looks like we're at 85%. I think it was 50 or 55%. I don't remember. I'll, I'll put it up. But that's 30% um, in, looks like, one hour and 14 seconds. Whoa, we're at 86%. This thing's rolling right now. So that's pretty darn good. Um, and all we are, this pack made an excellent shade. to keep. You want to keep your electronics out of um out of the sun so running the wire down from the back of the pack made it excellent to, oh 87 percent look at that it's doing great excellent eighty-eight <laughs> percent all right one more thing I decided to add, it's um, it's 3.50, that's the time, it's at 99%. So, you know, we stopped the test at um, one hour, but we let it run a few more minutes and at 3.50. Oh, 100%, I just wanted to see how long it would take to go to 100%. So at 3.50 p.m., it's at 100%. I just want to see what we get for from that either, it was 50-55. So that's it, 100% charge right there. This panel has a special feature. I'll show it to you right here. There we are, we're charging now. But let's say I have struck the panel. I'll take uh, my little headpiece there and put it right over. There we are. So we just it just deactivated the charging. The reason is it went below the threshold for this uh, Apple device charge shuts down or it could say accessory may not be supported that's another thing of this type errors and now it won't work until i unplug or plug it in i have to babysit it and this is common with all apple's ios 10. it's not the charger's fault it's the device's fault it's one of the reasons why i prefer charging power banks but the uh, ecen is on a 10 actually a three minute um cycle where it resets every three minutes and it will reset the error by basically unplugging and plugging the phone back in for you the 10 watt panel has the same feature as well so we'll leave this here and see how long it takes but when the reset comes it'll start to charge again there we go auto resets and it's charging again just like that So basically, it's immune to any charging errors. It unplugs, then plugs back in for you every three minutes. Well, the shades moved in, so that's the end of our test. I really like this panel because it easily fits on a backpack. I mean, look at that. It's just right there. 
that's like perfect, you know? Um, it charged the phone fairly quick. I, I, I'll put up the numbers for the exact one hour, uh, what we got in one hour, and then the total results, what it took to go from the baseline, which I think was something like, I don't know, it's either 50, 55% to 100%. The charge seemed to accelerate, you know, just after the hour. So we got the whole, all the numbers right there for you. The overall gist is, is that it seemed like in about an hour, I either got 45 or 50% on my phone. And that's pretty good, you know? Um, I want to tally up the numbers. If I'm wrong, well, you'll see below. That's another matter. Now, um, this panel's also good. They have a 10 watt panel that I bought as well. That's awesome. And both these panels have the same feature where they will reset every three minutes to clear any charge errors, such as the infamous accessory may not be supported error or just not working, you know, not charging or charging at a lower rate. So it'll reset that every three minutes. Both panels will do that. And I think that's awesome. And I kind of like the camera, I'll be honest with you. Um, kind of blends in with multicam, you know? So that's pretty cool. All right, so if you like what you've seen, give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. And you all have a great day, and I highly recommend uh, both of them, the ECEEN panels, the 7 watt and the 10 watt, which you reviewed. I'll put the uh, link to review in the description of this one as well. Awesome panels, and their ability to auto correct is amazing. And you all have a great day.